All right, what's up, everyone? Sean here with Justin. Hello, hello. And today is going to be kind of special um, because uh, we are going to do um, a, re a full review now, um, and because we're pretty much finished with uh, One Piece Unlimited World Adventure Red, and you know previously we've uh, did a l uh, we finished Coliseum mm -hmm. mode, and and then we did some like random uh, stuff in the actual game, um, the main story mode, where we just did all the side quests and tried to beat bosses, stuff like that. Um, but we pretty much got the gist of it, and you know, uh, we have new games coming out, so we're gonna oh, tons. shift, yeah, tons of new games coming out. So we're gonna shift our focus on that, and we're gonna put uh, One Piece to rest um, pretty much after this review. So Justin, uh, what did you thought overall with the you know story mode, you know the Coliseum, and you know the overall presentation, sound, the experience? You know, let me first say, I'll be honest, I haven't played that many One Piece games. Uh, just uh, just a couple really bad fighting games for the oh, uh, yeah. PlayStation Two, and I did play the Dynasty Warriors style Gundam games. I forgot what it's called, One Piece Warriors or something. Uh, uh, Pirate Warriors. Pirate Warriors, yeah. I played that once. I don't even own it. I just played it once. Um, <laughs> and this one I thought was probably the best one I played. Really? Yeah. Um, and, it, you know, it, it did remind me a lot of uh, Pirate Warriors, but I had a lot more fun with this one. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I did like it had uh, more RPG elements. I'm a RPG sucker. I love RPG games. Yeah. So uh, I love games like that. But I love the feel of also Dynasty Wars action RPG games. That's why Kingdom Hearts I like more than, say, a normal Final Fantasy game. Because it has RPG, but also has action mm -hmm. gameplay style. And that's what this kind of game is kind of like. And yeah. that's what I really like about this game. Um, and it was fun. I liked the characters. I liked uh, how in Coliseum you could be a whole bunch of the other bosses and stuff. I thought that was great. That was pretty cool. I loved playing as some of my favorite, you know, One Piece characters. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Crocodile, Law. Yeah, Ace, Jinbei. And everything. Jinbei, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was insanely fun. Um, and the bosses were challenging, but also good to fight. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was cool seeing them pulling off really awesome moves and everything like that. The story I thought was pretty good too. Uh, you know, going through the adventures again, but with the older One Piece crew. Yeah. And and also being able to uh, fight that. Uh, what is what was his name? Clover. Uh, oh, Red. Uh, Red. Red yeah, yeah, Patrick. Red, Patrick. Uh, Patrick Redfield. Patrick Red, uh, Redfield, yeah. I think. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. That. <laughs> <laughs> Chris yeah. Redfield. No. Yeah. 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 Chris yeah. Redfield, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the next game. Resident Evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. anyways. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I thought he was a good villain. I actually thought he was a really good villain. I liked the mm. fruit he got, too. Vampire. Oh, yeah. Like, that was really cool, in my opinion. Mm. I, In fact, the most the thing I was most disappointed is that you couldn't play as him. I, I, re I really wanted to play as him in Coliseum mode, but... Uh, yeah, I think we have to beat him in uh, the side quest, but... But then... I have no idea. I don't think he is a playable yeah, character. Yeah, if I'm, but saying, I could I be wrong. Know. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, well, yeah. It, but yeah, it, um, if you do want to try to beat him in, side, in the side quest, he is uh, the highest rating uh, yeah, boss. Yeah, he's the hardest to get to do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I really like the game. Uh, favorite One Piece game, like I was saying. Mm -hmm. uh, on a scale out of 10, I would say a solid 8. Solid 8, yeah. Solid 8. Mm -hmm. uh, so for me, I really liked it because you know it showed the One Piece experience. It was able to show that. Through a game like this, and uh, the, and it does kind of retell you the the um, the, the tale, new arcs, yeah, the, the, yeah, kind of the more recent arcs. So yeah, so. with uh, uh, Fishman Island, and we we had um, Punk Hazard, and then now we had we we got a sample of Dress Rosa, yeah, yeah. with the Coliseum. Drum Island's kind of weird. <laughs> and Drum Island, that was kind of <laughs> weird. Kind of like what? Yeah, okay. I was kind of like what? Uh, uh, yeah, and yeah. then but yeah, we did, and then we did get. Um, some of the old ones like um, Sky Island and um, Alabasta. Alabasta, and you know, like we said, Drum Island, <laughs> which was a you know weird, kind of a weirder one, yeah, yeah. And then we did get um, even the that one arc. Uh, what was it? The Mount Mount Com Combo or something like that with, uh, with a Ace. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we're gonna go up the mountains. Yeah, yeah, that part. Um, 
And I really love the you know presentation of it, like the color, like the colors and the the graphics, the way it's designed, you know, mm -hmm. the the cell shading. And I will say it this really again, it really felt like One Piece. It really did feel like One Piece. And um, like I said before, I really want to stress this, but I wish J Stars looked just like this. And I was really disappointed when I uh, overall with that game. Oh yeah, I agree. This game felt better than J Stars. It, 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 it much it, much better. It felt more like. Um, the series it's re um, presenting than J Stars did, um, but that's another story. Um, what, this One Piece game was just something I really love, you know, from the beginning to the end, you know, because you know, again, it it's like it's One Piece, you know. Yeah, yeah, One Piece is one of the best, in my opinion, it's one of the best manga out there that's still running. Yeah, as and... a yeah, as a as a hardcore fan, I loved it. You know, it's my favorite series. Pretty much of all time. Yeah, uh, like the top three have been, you know, Bleach, uh, Naruto, One Piece for a while. I mean, you could add in Toriko in there because that's yeah. also really big now. Right. But One Piece, in my opinion, has always consistently been on the top. It's always been better than Naruto. It's mm -hmm. always been better than Bleach. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it's it's better than Toriko, in my opinion, too. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 mean, I, I do like Toriko, but but One Piece has always been the top of the of the big top groups. So yeah, yeah. It's bef it's definitely my personal top favorite of all time, even you know be um, higher than Dragon Ball Z and um, Fist of the North Star. And um, like I said before, you know this is this is really the game that presents One Piece really well. And you know, and like Justin said before, it, it had pretty good and um, solid RPG elements and uh, action elements in there. So it's like. Uh, it does remind you of Kingdom Hearts that you know you're beating up bad guys, but you're leveling up at the same time. You get you get items and you know, that kind of thing. So it's like very much like an RPG, but with action stuff thrown in there. And um, the attacks were really cool. And I love how when you beat the last uh, bad guy, it, it does that like a little multiple, freeze frame, yeah, freeze frame, multiple angles. Yeah, 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 I love that. It was yeah, really cool. I love cool. that kind of effect when they do that. And you know, uh, um, you know. Along with the, the graphics, it really complemented that. It, it really worked together. Um, the attacks look cool, especially with the crocodiles like sand. When you, when you did that big, oh yeah, the big sand, like things. sand sword. Yeah, that yeah. was awesome. That that looked really our, cool. Gen Bay's giant like water laser cannon yeah. or whatever he was yeah, doing. Yeah, right. Like this that big ass water attack. Oh, yeah. Too bad we couldn't do that. I know. It's just kind of like ah. Oh, that would, that could have been his level two, but you know. I know, right? But, but no, yeah, they didn't. Yeah, it, it, I don't know for whatever reason they yeah. didn't add that in there, but. Um, yeah, like the bot, the bosses were presented pretty well. Like you know the cinematics and like like just everything. Like I just love the visual, every visual aspect of the game. And uh, when it comes to the sound, I you know I agreed with the decision that they just kept the Japanese voices and ne um, not have the English voices as an yeah, option I at least. The, the Japanese voices work better. Yeah, they, they do really work better at in the end. Um, that's our opinion anyway. But you know it because they did that. You know they're able to um, localize this game pr pretty fast, and I feel like they should do that with more games. And this is coming from Band um, Namco and Bandai, so that means they could have done this with uh, the other Tales games. You know, and um, the reason they don't come out as frequently here, or sometimes at all, at all, <laughs> yeah. um, as they do in Japan, is because it takes a lot of work to localize it. And put in the um, Jap um, the English voices in there because there's just so much um, dialogue. So that's, tons, yeah. there's tons of uh, dialogue. It's an RPG, of course. Yeah, yeah I mean, this like Tales games. Yeah, it's, yeah. Bleh. You know, so that's why they should do more of this. You know, I think nowadays it's um, we live it. We now live in like a gaming community that doesn't even care about that. In fact, we like that you know uh with japanese voices it you know really gives them that that authentic experience yeah i remember um some of the actually some dynasty wars uh, was it wars or ochi three the first mm -hmm. time it came out or something and um and maybe some other games like that were only in japanese like in terms of the speaking voices they never high brought, brought back the actors to do the mm -hmm. do the um you know voices for it they mm -hmm. just let uh, they just kept the Japanese and just translated it. Right. Language. And I thought that suited it better. 
than mm. having that because honestly, like for some of those games, the voice acting isn't that great, anyways. Yeah, but right. Still, uh, it, it just it works better in my opinion when it comes to that because then it means we could actually get the game and play. It. Mm, and yeah, that's the most important part. Right. And you know, sometimes we just want to play the game, and we we kind of don't care as much when it comes to the voices. That you know, that's for some people, but like you know, uh, people like us, we we do care about that stuff, but. We do want the game as as well, so you know, having Namco do that would totally work. So, in case you know you guys are listening, please do more of that. You know, <laughs> especially with more Tales games. I want more Tales games here. Damn it! Ah, all the good ones are in Japan yeah. only. Especially with Tales uh, Tales of Vesperia on the PS3. I really want that so bad, but it's only in Japan. <laughs> But, but anyways, back to One Piece. Back to One Piece. <laughs> yeah, um, the gameplay is great. The sound is great, um, and you know, the, of course, the music is kind of like there. But yeah, it, but it's not bad. It's not terrible. It's not terrible, yeah. but it's kind of just there. Um, but it just, you know, it, it you know, it, it works well with mm-hmm. the game. So I thought it was great. Um, the new characters, when it came to that, I liked it. I like Pot- Pato and. Um, uh, Redfield, you know, uh, with yeah. his vampire pa- powers and just his overall design, his look, and you know, of course, his voice. It was, it was really cool, and uh, really liked him as a villain. He had yeah, honestly, I I kind of liked to see him in an like a uh, you know filler episode, of yeah, or, or OVA or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, or sp- some kind of spinoff. Yeah, or like just another movie if they decide to make. Because I mean, right. you know, some movies that were random villains and stuff. And anyway, right. yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't follow the, the actual storyline. No, anyway. no, no, no. Yeah. No, yeah, I really like to see him in anim- um, in animated yeah, me too. form. Yeah, Better than that stupid Viking they had in the last movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know, yeah, with, with uh, I really like the, the original character for this, for, uh, for this game. And, um, you know, else more? Oh, yeah, I like the world, like the, um... Actual like the environments were pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, um, especially the the actual like new like new place, new, new, new town, yeah, like, yeah, the yeah, town. like the town. The town itself. Uh, was... The town felt like it could be in just any normal piece of. Any yeah, well, if it it, do, it definitely felt like an open more of an open world game. Yeah, you know, unlike let's say Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kingdom Hearts is super open. World. Yeah, it's just uh, I don't know. It's something about that game, but. Uh, um, definitely, this one felt more alive. It had more life. It was, you know, vivid with color. It you know, people around town and everything. Yeah, right? yeah. There's actual people around town, yeah, like it's walking around. Talking to you. And yeah, everything, yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and I love that addition where you know you can stretch you know, while you're you know like, Luffy yeah, and just, yeah. you know travel really fast that way. And you, yeah, so that added like the the feel that you're you're you're, you're Luffy. You're, it makes me it makes me reminds me of um. I don't know if you played the game, Sean, but Batman Arkham City, you ever played? Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, like Batman just slinging across the freaking, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, it reminded me of that. So I thought that was a really good addition. I was like, if it reminds you of a good game, yeah. you know it's doing something good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, and when it came to Coliseum mode, yeah, like Justin said, it was really cool to play the, the, um, the bo- against the bosses and play as the bosses, especially with um, Whitebeard. Shanks. Oh, Shanks. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Fujitora, uh, Akainu, you know, that's. Doflamingo. Doflamingo. Man, he was a real asshole, by the way. But, <laughs> but, anyways, yeah, he was really cool. Um, it really felt like you're, you're empowered, like you felt like you were them at some um, certain moments. So that's really cool. And, you know, I, and they were, they were pretty. Um, how do I say this? Like, Replicated in the game pretty well. Like they were, if it, it, it um, the overall design was preserved. Yes, yes, yes. yeah. So they, they look like in the show and you know, that kind of thing. Um, that was really cool. Um, and yeah. So that's pretty much it for me. Um, I would give it uh, an eight out of ten. I think I did that before when we finished story mode. Yeah, and I think I did. that was the um, original score. I would still give it an eight out of ten, um, just because it's. It's one piece, and of course, it's not a perfect game. Oh, it's pretty but short. It's oh yeah, it was, it was pretty short thought, for what it was. It, yeah. So that's the disappointing part. Um, you 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 would want more from it, but yeah, um, it is good for what it is, and I think it's only for no, it's uh, download only. You can only um, get it on digital um, 
copies and uh, download from the eShop or PSN, that kind of thing. Well, there, it was also on the 3DS, right? Yeah, it's all, it, it was originally on the 3DS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they brought it to the console. So, um, you because you can uh, exchange data from back and forth with the 3DS and the uh, Wii U version. So that's how it, that worked. Um, yeah, again, it's uh, a great One Piece game, if not uh, really, you know, uh, the best one in uh, recent times. Yes. Exactly. So uh, I would highly recommend it to all all fans of One Piece and um, and you know I guess fans to uh, uh, or fans of RPG games. Um, if you want to try some a little different, I guess you can put it. And you want to uh, kind of immerse yourself with the world of One Piece? This is a pretty good game, I think. I agree. Yeah, I completely agree. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. Yeah, um, do you have any more more to say? No, I think I said my point really well. Uh, it's a great game. I mean, you can't go wrong with playing this. If you are a fan of One Piece, I say pick it up right now, play it. How much did it cost, Sean? Uh, it was forty bucks, I think. Yeah, see, not that much. It's not that much. Well, so just, yeah. Give great it a game. Yeah, uh, give it a shot, and you will definitely know um, what we are saying. So, that is pretty much it for our full in-depth review of One Piece before we um, put it to rest, and we will. Uh, shift our focus to with other games. It, um, great game, and it's it's One Piece. It's um, and of course, really can't wait for the newer uh, chapters in One Piece and all that stuff. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, man. All right. Yep. Uh, so thank you guys for listening. Hope you guys enjoy that. And if you, um, you guys like that, hit that thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments, thoughts, opinions about One Piece and the game, so um, go ahead and drop them down below. And um, we will cover more games especially with um, you know Smash Bros Bandit 2 um, and we will cover more of uh, Hyrule Warriors so um, look forward to that and uh, we will see you guys next time later bye bye